thank you so much for all of you for dialing in and joining the Asia Congress World Summit. It's not about net positive. It's not being a little bit more positive than negative. No, it's about stopping the bad things we're doing today. Yeah, and I think the most exciting thing is that the system changes when we all change. Although we talk about leadership, leadership these days is not always the person at the top. One of the things we learn from studying complex living systems is that they self-organize. So everybody can be a part of that solution. I want to give you some very specific ideas that will have impact. Often you come to a conference and you leave and nobody knows you were even there because nothing changes. I want to help you make a change and get results from the transformation you'll do as a result of being part of this HR Congress. The other thing that we understood is that when it comes to work, it's not just about an individual, it's about their networks. But what we're realizing is that relationships and networks are very important in organizations and the new ways of working are disrupting them. Seeing 30,000 people engaging in such a short period of time, I must say, has really exceeded my own expectations. But this is what I wanted to share with you today. Concrete example, a tangible example of how to create an environment where innovation starts with the right experience at work. So what I want to share is how we are transforming buyer and how cultural transformation is a very important part of that. And if you define culture in a very simplistic definition as how stuff gets done in an organization, you need to change the way you operate and culture is a very important element. We're going to talk a little bit about why we're struggling with our reward strategies today. And we're going to talk about three big actions to take if you want to reimagine your rewards. Why we turn our leaders into heroes and whether that helps us understand the whole business of leadership. This not a good way to proceed. Leadership is a team sport. It's not about an individual. It's not even about a group of individuals. It's about a whole organization. You look at HR's increasing role and influence in enabling and in creating uh, organizational agility as a must-have sustainable capability in our organizations and our workforces today.